Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, I have another physical media haul to share with you guys. And as usual, I am super excited. I love physical media hauls and I know y'all do too. Here's my little stack, my little sneak peek for what's to come. <laughs> I have a mix of 4Ks and Blu-rays and I'm excited about all of them. So let's just get into the haul. So the first two movies I'm gonna show off today were actually sent to me by subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a physical media wish list on Amazon. It's always linked down below. You absolutely do not have to send me anything ever. <laughs> this was done just out of the kindness of their own hearts and I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, if you do ever decide to send me anything, I will absolutely show it off in a physical media haul and give you a shout out. <laughs> so yeah, this first Blu-ray was sent to me by Salvador and it is one of my all-time favorites, Romeo and Juliet from 1996. This movie was such a pivotal part of my adolescence. It's not even funny. This Blu-ray has director's commentary, uncut footage, behind the scenes footage and stills, filmmaker and interview galleries, as well as Romeo and Juliet, the music. The inside is really simple. It's just the disc, but hey, that's totally fine. I'm just stoked to own this on something that's not my VHS tape. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my VHS tape. I just have never owned a higher quality version of this film before not even a DVD so I am very excited to own this now. I know this movie is not everyone's cup of tea but I adore it. I always have. It makes me feel all fuzzy inside. Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> Thank you Salvador. So the next Blu-ray in this haul was kindly sent to me by Kyle. Thank you so much Kyle. It is the train spotting 4k from Criterion. Choose your future. Choose life. This is an incredible film. It's always been one of my favorites. It's dark, it's dirty, it's haunting, shocking, and also has so much dark humor, a great soundtrack, and a surprising amount of heart. This release has a director and cast commentary, deleted scenes with commentary, some new interviews with members of the crew. We even have some documentaries on here, the making of train spotting and memories of train spotting. I'm also kind of obsessed with the packaging of this release. I mean, look at it. <laughs> the discs are in these little sleeves. It kind of reminds me of my Wong Kar Wai collection, also from Criterion. And hiding inside this little envelope here is a little booklet. You guys know I love a booklet. It's got some pictures and some essays, one being from the author of the novel, Train Spotting, and a glossary of terms from the novel, which is so cool. I just love this release so much. I literally squealed when I opened it. Thank you so much, Kyle. This is definitely a huge upgrade to my old train spotting DVD. So the next two films kind of go together because they are the 4Ks of I Know What You Did Last Summer and I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. You guys know how much I love these films. I don't care what anyone says. And it was definitely time for an upgrade for both of them. So I'm very happy that I now own both in 4K. The first one has deleted scenes, interviews with the director and cast, a commentary, a short from the director, a featurette, and a music video. A lot of goodies on there and for some reason, the first one didn't come with a slipcover, but the second one did. I don't know if the first one just doesn't come with a slip or if somebody owes me a slipcover. <laughs> I did get both of them from Amazon, so it doesn't really matter though. I'm happy either way. The second one comes with a director's commentary, making a featurette, an interview with Muse Watson, and the music video for Jennifer Love Hewitt's How Do I Deal? I mean... Are you kidding me? Hell yes. I had been debating for so long whether or not to get that I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy box set from, I think it's 88 films because it looked beautiful, but I obviously decided to go with the 4Ks of both films individually. And I'm happy with my choice. These look gorgeous. So the next two films in this haul I actually bought secondhand from Half Price Books a few weeks ago. I made a little short for the channel, if you saw it, a little physical media hunting trip where you see me pick up these next two titles, which are also both criterions and both blind buys for me. So the first one I have here is Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. This is not a sequel. 
There has never been anything like it. So I don't typically blind buy and I don't typically buy my movies secondhand unless they're VHS tapes, of course. But I've heard some really great things about this film. I know it's a classic. I think I heard Chelsea from Dead Meat mention it briefly in one of their podcasts before. And I know it was written by Roger Ebert, so that intrigues me. Which is why when I saw this at my Half Price Books and saw that it was still in really good condition for being used, I decided to just pick it up. This release has some audio commentaries, an interview with John Waters, can't wait to watch that, <laughs> five documentaries on the making of the film, a Q&A with the cast and crew, screen tests, and even more. So there's a lot on this, and of course, a booklet amazing but yeah i still have not had a chance to watch this yet i'm really excited to it sounds it sounds right up my alley so the next film i got secondhand is actually sisters by brian de palma this one was also in great condition when i found it at half price so i picked it up I have been wanting to delve more into Brian De Palma's filmography for a while, and this film has actually been recommended to me a few times before. This release has interviews with the director and cast, some archival footage, a new interview with actor Jennifer Salt, photo gallery and radio spots, as well as a booklet with pictures and interviews and essays. I expect nothing less from Criterion. <laughs> I also have not gotten around to watch this one either. I know, I know. I've just been watching so many things lately that I just haven't had a lot of time. But this one and Beyond the Valley of the Dolls are definitely like at the top of my watch list. So yeah, some great secondhand finds for me. Okay, next up in this haul, I have this gorgeous 4K stillbook of Academy Award winning film, Oppenheimer. Two. What's next? One. So I will be honest and say my boyfriend Dalton ordered this. He loves this film and he said I could go ahead and show it in this haul. He ordered this from eBay. It's the German release of it because I guess he couldn't find any other copy of this specific 4K steelbook anymore because it sold out. Anyways, I'm sure you guys have all seen Oppenheimer by now. Admittedly, I watched this for the first time only a few weeks ago when we got this in the mail and it, it's a great film. It's definitely not my kind of movie, but I can admit it's an amazing film and I definitely understand the critical acclaim. Okay, so the next film I have here is also somewhat of a new release and was actually my personal favorite non-horror movie of 2023, and that is The Iron Claw. I told you to look out for it! I just love being out there with you guys. The only thing that matters to me. I made sure to snag this one up as soon as it released because I absolutely loved this movie, which was kind of a surprise because I'm not a wrestling fan, know absolutely nothing about wrestling, but this was just such a damn good film that that didn't even matter. We saw this twice in theaters and it just kind of stole my heart. But yeah, this release has The Brotherhood is Forever Making Of and a cast and crew Q&A. I would absolutely recommend this film if you somehow have not seen it yet. I kind of feel the same way about this film as I do a movie like Rocky where it's technically a sports film, but it's, it's more about the characters and their story and what's going on in their lives than the actual sport itself. That's just what I think anyway, but yeah, incredible movie and amazing performances by everyone. So happy to finally own this Blu-ray. So the next three films I'm going to show you actually all came together because I made a little order on Vinegar Syndrome. <laughs> Only one is actually Vinegar Syndrome though, but the first one I have to show you is Skateboard from 1978. Skateboard, the movie that defies gravity. This is a Factory 25 release, my first release from them. And yeah, I saw this on the Vinegar Syndrome site and I was just mesmerized by this slipcover. I mean, just look at this beauty. <laughs> and then it's obviously about skateboarding in the 70s, so uh, sign me up. <laughs> I freaking love skateboarding and I love the 70s. This release has a commentary track, interview with the director, Skateboard Safety PSA and a 24 page booklet with Tony Alva's 1978 skateboard glossary and some essays. 
Like I said, this was a blind buy when I bought it, but I did watch it and listen, it's not the greatest film ever made, but if you love 70s filmmaking and if you love skateboarding, you will definitely enjoy this. Like the back says, it was the first feature film to depict the height of the 70s skateboard craze. And it's just a fun little piece of history. Next up, we have the iconic Reform Schoolgirls from 1986. This is the last stop on your tour. Here they are, the loveliest girls in the history of socially conscious cinema. Reform School Girls. This release is by Vinegar Syndrome, and again, just look at this beauty. Look at this artwork. I mean, come on. This film is a freaking riot. It's nasty, it's exploitative, it's sleazy in every way possible, and I am obsessed. <laughs> This release has a making of documentary with brand new interviews, two audio commentaries, video footage from the play Women Behind Bars, and Ode to Wendy, which I did watch. It's a little tribute to actress and punk icon Wendy O. Williams, who plays Charlie in the film. And of course, this release also has some reversible artwork. I was just so stoked to see that the slipcover was still available when I was on the Vinegar Syndrome site, so I snagged this up real quick. So yeah, check out this gem. It's a lot of fun. And last, but definitely not least, although this might objectively be the worst movie in the bunch, this release is still so freaking awesome, and it is The Last Slumber Party. As one by one, the kids end up dead. This release is from Agfa, and as soon as I heard about this, I had to pre-order it because I just needed this in my collection so badly, which is funny because this film is so bad, but it's laughably bad, so you are having a good time when you're watching it. This release has a commentary, a Q&A with the main actress, and outtakes. But yeah, I have a personal nostalgia with this film because I remember when I was little, there was this blog site or something that I was obsessed with. I think it was called Hysteria Lives or something similar. And it basically had like a list of every single slasher movie you could ever think of. And I would sit there for hours on my little computer during summer vacation and just go through this list and click on every single horror movie. And there was like a little review for the film, some pictures from the film, and like a little kill count. And I remember seeing this film on there, among others, and it's always stayed with me for some reason. I guess just because it looked absolutely horrendous and I was a attracted to that. And yeah, I think at one point somebody uploaded the whole movie to YouTube and I watched it there and it's something else. That's all I can say. You really have to see this to believe it. I'll just say that. This ain't no Slumber Party Massacre. This makes Slumber Party Massacre look like Oppenheimer. <laughs> but with that being said, these are the types of releases that I want to collect personally because they just feel the most special. I mean, they really just pulled this straight from the VHS wasteland and gave it the most beautiful treatment it could ever get. And that is brilliant in my eyes. So yeah, you guys, that was this physical media haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I couldn't be more thrilled with these pickups, honestly. And of course, the films that were kindly gifted to me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you again, Salvador and Kyle. And yeah, let me know what you think about some of these. And if you also collect, let me know what's on your physical media wish list. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have all my links in the description box below. Let's talk some physical media in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.